Wow, there's even more squad cars right here. We got the whole situation sewed up. I thought they were pulling up on me. I don't know. Hold on. Let me do a little. I don't like the way that he did that left. What is homeboy doing? Okay, they're stopping. Dude, that is crazy. I can't really even tell what it is. Whatever it is, it's right here on the right. How we doing, folks? Welcome back to the channel. Another beautiful day out here in Los Angeles. Fully charged Suron. About 65 degrees, a little bit windy today. We're getting our adventure started right here on the edge of downtown. We are right next to the 10 freeway. Should be a fun one. First off, thank you to all these people. These are the top five supporters. It's been one week since we started the merch back up. I wanna thank everybody who's bought something so far. It's been crazy, the amount of support. Uh, so thank you. This is my favorite thing, the orange hoodie. Remember, every dollar you spend right now until April 15th enters you to win this Ultra Beat. So uh, if that's something you're interested in, first link in the description. Or if you just wanna support me, that's the easiest way to do it. Hop over to the site, buy a shirt, hoodie, whatever. Second, second link in the description. I posted a secret video on my my second channel that's where i'm going to be posting more bmx stuff if you want to see that video you can find it down below let's start the ride and we're on folks let's go let's go let's go what does the city have in store for us today well there's only one way to find out oh we'll bottom out right there all right so we're going to start off by going straight this way uh out here a little bit later than i would like to today it was raining and extremely windy it's a little bit windy out here today but it's not that bad definitely enough or not windy enough for us to be able to get around smoothly for the most part if it picks up from this well i guess we'll see it was raining all weekend i really wanted to get out on saturday or sunday to uh make some content but it was just not possible really we got rain in la but we have a beautiful week coming up for the next foreseeable future seven days at least if not longer than that so i see a police helicopter in the distance and i not sure if i'm not mistaken i think i hear sirens too oh yeah there's a police helicopter real low up there you guys see that let's get up there it's another day in the city the second you get down here that actually scared the heck out of me i don't i thought that that was the sound of like a car crashing or something oh you guys see that helicopter up there he's super low and it looks like he's on this street if i'm not mistaken uh, we're right here on Washington. This is on the edge of the freeway. The 10 freeway is right here. That's the one I usually take if I start closer to downtown. I'll wrap around and park somewhere in the cut, go from there. So if we hit a right anywhere off of this street, we end up in historic South Central. From where we're at right now, we keep going straight. We go to Alameda Street, which is ultimately where I want to check out. And that's where we will be checking out. But first, looks like there's uh, some police activity right here we're almost there it's uh yeah <laughs> it's about that time in the city where traffic is unbearable okay we're pretty much there if you guys see that helicopter is right above us it's gonna sound crazy once we get underneath that thing I'm gonna pop back off in the street right here we, have, we see police i don't know if you can see on the gopro but i see police flying up here Okay, so whatever it is, it looks like it's up here on the right. We're on Central and Washington, so uh, we're approaching the cut. By uh, the cut, I mean the cut. Uh, <laughs> if you know the cut, you know the cut. Yep, there's the ghetto bird, nice and low. Wondering what could be possibly going on. I could check my phone right now and take a look at Citizens. I think we're going to figure it out if we just get across this next street. There's sirens to the right about to have green light but it sounds like a police officer is coming up high Look, okay i'm assuming this is like a situation because this bird is getting lower and lower usually when it's not a big deal they hover higher than that but he's pretty low more squad cars coming up to the right two of them that guy was staring at me <laughs> could it be the orange hoodie Oh, we're right behind the police car, so whatever's going on, we are about to run smack dab into it. Looks like there's people hopping out right here. I don't know if these are officers. Looks like they're all kind of like jumping out right here. Let's see if we can hop on the curb, or if this will be a fatal idea. Oh wow, there's even more squad cars right here. We got the whole situation sewed up. Interesting, that bird's nice and low. I mean, I have no idea. We're gonna go up to the next corner, and I'm sure it's on Citizens. That app is insane, bro. It just, it posts everything so quick. 
So let's go up here and check out if um, if we can see what it is. I'm not sure how. I think it's just like there's a person who works for the app and they just check the scanner all day. Okay, so there's an incident right here next to us. Oh, there it is. Report of armed robbery at dispensary. Definitely uh, the type of police response you would expect, though. Cops all over the place right now. This place is swarming with LAPD. We're going to go ahead and just keep going from here. Not much for us to see there. We, uh, <laughs> we kind of just stumbled right into that. The amount of times that I just hop out of the car and start my video, and there is like a full-blown police standoff situation or or something involving the helicopter down below the ghetto bird just above the ground is uh is dramatically higher than zero you know it's much higher than zero <laughs> it's definitely definitely happens more often than one would think it would occur so we're gonna get a side shot this is how it looks from the outside look at the amount of squad cars lined up right here i think this is an undercover yeah that is an undercover one two three four five six seven eight i mean tons Yeah, definitely a big deal. Whatever, uh, whatever they got going on is uh, gonna be a long day for those gentlemen, to say the least. We're going to start getting a little funky on our route right here. We're gonna cut over here by the freeway. I'm going to examine some routes that we haven't been in a while. And ultimately we're gonna jam down Alameda. There are a couple side streets when I did that initial ride that I wasn't able to check out. There's just so much stuff to see in these parts of town. It's, uh, it's very interesting for someone who's never been here, like uh, many of you watching this. I know many of you have never been to LA, and if you have, well, I always take you to places you've probably never been before and show you things that you haven't seen, like this uh, little encampment that we just kind of stumbled upon right here. You've got a nice bike. It's real clean. You got that, the sound of that helicopter is just drowning out all other sounds I hear right now. I'm sure you guys can hear me loud and clear based off of my knowledge of uh how the gopro sounds when it's real loud but that thing is just woo, it's there look at that alley right here let's check this alley out it actually looks kind of cool i remember this sidewalk right here so i know i've been down here at least once or twice hey how you doing you know but let's check it out again i see a bunch of glass and mystery liquid so i slowed down to avoid those What is right here? I, if I'm not mistaken, I, I have no idea what's right here. I thought it was like a car, something for cars. I can't really even tell what it is. Whatever it is, is right here on the right. Oh, I'm going to up. Okay, well, it looks like that's what's going on there. I didn't even, okay. Unplanned things that just pop up when we're out riding. That's, uh, that's something that's going on there. We are either going to censor their faces for their own safety or, you know, for whatever. Huh, what is going on? I, it's hard to really tell. That's a nice GTR. I think sick, actually. We're actually going to turn around, go back the way we came. Looks like they're trying to jump their car, possibly. Unlucky. You guys hear that helicopter right i mean it's pretty hard to miss <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely doing circles all right we're gonna shred a little bit we are right here on naomi avenue and 18th street so uh yeah the 18th street is uh relatively famous but not for reasons you might think treacherous roads right here there's a lot of trash right there and that ordinary and then there's a uh, big clumps of rocks I, I thought that was poop it's impossible to tell out here sometimes you know i, I mean that's uh that's it okay back right here along the 10 freeway this is it right here uh up ahead is a spot where it caught on fire look at this setup they got right here oh i think they have like a radio tower or something i think that's a satellite antenna if i'm not mistaken it's pretty high tech uh-oh well, yeah, you guys know how I feel about that. It's not as if we could pass through there anyway, but once I see a pit bull that size, I am good. I'm trying to even think about maneuvering through there. 
bunch of pallets. So they say these pallets like this uh, are the source of what caused that big freeway fire that happened just over here. We're on Hooper in 17th Street. The big fire occurred not too far from here, but it wasn't right here. There's so many ways I want to go check out from right here. We're just going to keep chugging along this street for now. A lot of you remember I came by here and there was a Metro bus that they hijacked and just uh, left abandoned right here. That was a while ago. They cleaned it up quite a few months ago. That was almost a year ago. That's how long I've been out here on this route doing this on the Suron. Almost a year ago. I smell fire. I have a strong fire smell in my nose currently. And I think it's coming from right up here on the left. I'm going to check it out. This entire scene is a little wild. This is very Mad Max-ish feeling. Oh man, that's strong. I don't know what they're cooking right here, but it doesn't smell good. Yeah, that's wild, man. We're actually gonna double back this way because uh, if we go straight right here, we turn back onto Washington, and ultimately we're gonna end up on Alameda anyway. We do have an alley right here, though. This looks like, uh, I don't even think that's an alley, actually. I think that's an entrance to someone's private property. That's something I tend to try to avoid when I'm out here. Getting too much on private property. Most people are not that friendly about it, <laughs> to say the least. It's, uh, you know, I mean, people aren't friendly about it anywhere, but especially out here, they're so used to having people come and break into their stuff. And dude, that is crazy. The size of this camp and the amount of trash right there. It's kind of wild. Half of it was like charred, like it had been caught on fire recently. But uh, yeah, they don't take kindly to strangers in these parts, so to speak. So we got two routes right here. There's this road right here, which I'm going to show you guys, even though I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. But we're going to slide through here real nice and easy. Last time I came through here, there is a, a fire right in the middle of the street. Otherwise, pretty chill. I didn't know if those were rats or pigeons in the middle of the street. They were pigeons, so. We good. All right, so back up on 15th Street. We're in areas that we uh, we kind of hovered around a little bit before. We're gonna start making our way directly to Alameda from here. Then we're gonna cut a right and go south for a little while and see what we're running into. Maybe another police standoff. Who knows? Only way we're gonna find out is if we go. So let's go. Right here we have the RV row. This has developed quite a bit from the last time I came out here. It's now full. There used to be a little, uh, few gaps in the parking right here. But now it is, uh, it's completely booked. They just instituted new rules in certain parts of LA that completely banned RV parking. But uh, I just don't see it being applied out here. I really don't. I don't see anyone caring even. Like, even if they really try to enact it, they're just gonna shuffle around and continue to move out here. There's no getting rid of, of this. It's just part of uh, LA culture at this point. And it may not sound good to like accept that, so to say, but I mean, I just can't even remember a time now when I've come to downtown LA and not seen the, uh, the RVs. <laughs> it's been so long, it's been at least a decade since uh, I haven't seen something like that. And now they're just very normal. All right, we're kind of getting funky. We're right next to the freeway. We have a, um, a door right here. This feels like Pan's Labyrinth or something. Like what happens if you go through that door? You just go to an alternate dimension. <laughs> and just enter a, a different reality. You know? You, touch, you probably really will once you get a whiff of whatever the air smells like in there too. You're gonna be in a whole another dimension. We're zigzagging on some streets right here on the edge of the freeway still. It's kind of killing time because there's so much traffic. I want the traffic to die down a little bit. It may not, but we're gonna at least try and let it happen. There's a lot of cool artwork right here too. I was hoping to check out, but it looks like a lot of it got painted over, like, uh, or at least covered over, like this this right here. Some cool artwork there, but can't see it. I mean, this is, uh, oh, been in the corner hot right here. Oh man. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, you know, it's another day in LA, you know? That's uh, that's all I can say about that. We got the uh, same route we just came down. Let's go ahead and tear out this way. Another day in LA, folks. What else can I say? Working on the minivan. Oh, this is open. We could actually go back there. And I'm pretty tempted. I mean, first off, let's just check out this, uh, this area right here. Look at this immense 
amount of trash. It looks like it was on fire too. I mean, name one thing that we've been out here that's not been on fire lately. This is just like, wow. I mean, I don't know. Looks like we can peek in here. So I'm gonna stay right here. I don't wanna actually go beyond the gates. This would be fun to shred down, but there is a, oh, he's driving off. That's almost like a sign that uh, he wants me to come check it out. There are some people living here. Let's just briefly take a spin. This is kind of like unincorporated land, I think. I've never, ever, ever been here in my entire life living in LA, so this is interesting. Not much to do, though. A little bit of dirt. We're good on that. But this trash, though, just like, wow. You would think this looks like it. This looks like an AI-generated image, right? Like, you just go to one of them new AI things, and then you're like, put a bunch of trash. <laughs> it would like literally look just like this. It looks like the same three piles of trash just repeated over and over. There's some mystery white liquid that I really do not want to kick my tires on, bro. I started keeping my Suron outside. <laughs> I bring the battery in, I put a tarp over the bike, and I leave it outside because I just don't. I genuinely used to Lysol the tires down every day when I took it out of the car because of the absolute disgust that you ride through in LA. It's truly nasty. And you think about it, like, the places that I ride are just, they're just off the wall, right? Like, it's just places that most people wouldn't even consider to go in a car, right? And I go ride through these places. So I would always wipe my tires down before I brought my bike inside. But now I'm like, dude, it's just, it's just, it's just so dirty. Like, I can't even, I feel like it's just permanent, like, disgust etched into the bike. There's nothing else to do. Oh, uh, this is the freeway exit, so it's a little hectic right here. I think we're trying to, trying to cruise through. I mean, to be honest, I don't really, I don't really know about going this way today. There's gonna be so much traffic until we get to the good part in Alameda. It's like a regular, it's like a traffic day, right? Last time we came down here was a Sunday, so I think it was much chiller. Right now it's like insane, the amount of cars that are right here. So I'm not really, I'm not too enticed on coming down this way. Um, I think we're gonna cut back up on Washington and maybe we'll take a side route or something. Wind is starting to pick up. I'm gonna just walk in the middle of the street. Hey man, get it how you live out here, brother. Again, popping on the curb. Let's see, let's go through this jungle right here. Let's, uh, let's tear through this. Oh, oh man. Straight through the glass. I rode through so much glass and goat horns on this bike the other day, and it's still fine. These stock tires are so good. Like, I, I'm actually impressed with them every single time I ride through here. So, this is um, part of that railway that I was talking about last time I came through here. It goes uh, in a couple different directions. First, we're going to just go down the street. I mean, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but is that a boat? Just uh, just on the street? Is that is that a boat? That is a boat, right? Bro, it, it, uh, uh, <laughs> Let's take a let's take a second to look at this. There's a boat. Oh god! Look! Oh! Oh! Uh. Dude, this is just this is just hectic. First off, they got booby traps, so if you're walking, weren't paying attention. <laughs> Who knows? That might electrocute you or something. Let's go ahead and pop up right here. Oh, oh crap! Uh. Okay, this is a boat. Yeah, I was uh, <laughs> I wasn't wrong. It's a boat. This is a boat just parked on the side of the street. This is not. I mean, charming, that's all this building says. There's tons of barbed wire. Just a little bit, something was on fire right here. I <laughs> said, hey, go figure. I, need to, I swear, we need to make a bingo card. Maybe that's something that I'm gonna put on my website. An LA bingo card and you guys can fill it out. <laughs> you can fill it out at home as I go along my video. That's actually a great idea. I gotta, I gotta look into that. Um, yeah, so, okay, we have a boat. There's that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and... Let's take some of these side streets. These ones are, are pretty interesting too. I was hoping to go a little bit further down Alameda, but it's very hectic right now. I don't even know what to say. It's just uh, it's just pure chaos going that way. So let's explore some of these side routes. We'll see some cool art. We're gonna see uh, maybe some other things. I don't know. Only one way to find out and that's by going. I think this is the same art that was up here last time. Let's go ahead and check this street out. We're gonna go in a lap around it though. I don't know what this building is. It looks like uh, something interesting. How you doing? You guys are apartments, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we're gonna do this. There are some ways to get down there if we wanted to. There's a, a couple of openings on the road. 
as far as traffic or like windows where we can ride through. So we're gonna go up here and make a right. I just wanna look at the artwork on the street real quick. That's just beautiful, man. I don't even know what else to say. This is sick too, I love that. It reminds me of like, bro, I thought that was a person jumping out after me. That was a freaking, the wind blowing something over. <laughs> Dude, I spun around so quick, I almost got a cramp in my arm. I was ready to throttle it. <laughs> but I wanted to see what it was. The sound of it falling, I thought that was a dog. So I was like, oh man, am I about to, is it about to be a dog chase? Let's go. Not the right bike for the job today. I'm telling you, man, anytime I'm, <laughs> if I'm not somewhere where I am confident that I will not be getting chased by a dog, I'm taking a sir off. And the thing is, there's so many places where you could possibly get chased by a dog and where I go ride, that uh, it's just about impossible to take any other bike out nowadays. There's so much glass on the ground right there, jeez. All right, so we finally made it to Alameda. It's this street right here on our left. We're going to chill as we put down because most of the streets that I wanted to check out were just right turns off of the main street when I was coming down here the other day. And uh, I'm gonna slow it down a little bit because it is just too fast of traffic. And everyone's actually trying to get somewhere. I'm just out putting along. If you've ever driven in LA traffic, you know what I'm talking about. Like it's, it is very cutthroat right now. So I'm not trying to be involved like that. I'm just, uh, out here having a little chiller anyway let's start taking some of these left and right see if we see anything interesting on these back streets we may we may not you don't know something was changing the flat tire right there i mean i'm still tripping out on the fact that we saw a boat sitting on the side of the road that is probably one of the strangest things that i've personally seen while riding out here as of recent oh this is that artwork that we passed by there's uh yeah we came here the same day of the ride okay so that means that we're on long beach avenue not long beach boulevard but long beach avenue this turns into a different street if you keep going south but right now it's long beach avenue how you doing oh look, look at homie's car bro this thing is outrageous dude that thing's so cool donked out bro <laughs> yeah that thing's sick oh yeah he gave me the nod that's right <laughs> bro, you don't see cars like that that often out here not even out like uh down in the hood like in in south central long beach it's rare to see donks that's like you know that's a southern thing Atlanta, maybe Louisiana. So it's cool to see that style out here. Danny Man would appreciate that. He's a Florida cat. They got all of in Florida. This is an interesting street. Look, there's a liquor store right there. That looks like it'd be a movie scene liquor store. Well, look at this truck. Look at what's going on right here. I can't even tell exactly what's going on right here. You would think someone's living out of it, but I think it's just storage. You got a bunch of batteries. Yeah, I think that is someone living there actually. Now I got a better look at it. Or maybe it's stuff for sale. I can't tell. I saw some laundry machines there on top of them. I, uh, you know, things you see in LA. You guys gotta remember, I am on public roads. We're out in public. None of this stuff is secret, right? If they wanted it to be secret, they put it behind a fence in a backyard, inside of a vehicle. So it's not like I'm invading on privacy by riding around and when you're in public. I mean, go study the law if you don't know. That's just how it works. That's why. I'm... Bro, it's bumping. This is a. Uh interesting route i smell fire there's a fire burning right through here let's go check it out this is uh not an active railroad we can probably wrap around that'd be a better idea i'm going into the sun right now can't really see where i'm going but they have a fire burning now this is how fires start to get out of control in la is when you know folks just start a fire for whatever reason it's a very nice afternoon it's like 66 degrees it's warm already. I don't, not really sure why they started a fire. I doubt it was to cook, but uh, this is a very industrial area. So even if the fire department came, I think the closest, closest fire department to here would be Skid Row. And that's kind of a ways off. Oh, they put it out. They put it out quick. Okay. Well, good for them. This is the railroad that I came down that day too. So we could turn around and go back down it that way if we want. Which we made. Let's go up here a little bit and see what's going on. Got one of these. I would love to jump off this, but, uh, you know, I think I'm good today, <laughs> so to speak. Junkyard right here, scrap metal, turn in, recycling, stuff like that. We're going to hit a left right here on Long Beach Ave. No, we're not. It's actually flooded still from the rain today. You guys see that? I just don't want to go through that, so we're not going to go through that. Instead, we'll double back and we'll take the <coughs> we'll take the railroad. <laughs> I'm coughing a little bit from the smoke from that fire. <laughs> I don't know what they're burning, but 
Oh, it's like in my lungs. <laughs> oh man, that's a, that was a little scary. You can still smell it from over here. I don't know what they're burning, but this, this did not smell good at all. Let's go ahead and get through here. Uh, we're gonna get a little tires a little wet. I'm trying to keep the tires dry because even though they are decent, they're just not that good once they get wet. Well, let's see. We can go this way. Or we can go this way. I think I'm gonna go this way just because I can see where I'm going. How you doing? <laughs> Bro was amazed. <laughs> well, I don't know what they're burning, but it smells super toxic. I'm sure it's not good for them to be breathing that. Oh. Rocks are. Those rocks are not that fun to ride over, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of exciting, but it continues to go that way. Right? Once you go this way, you're really getting in no man's land. I think we might creep down there a bit, or we're going to at least feel it out, but this is where. Even someone like me, where I consider myself to be very aware of what's going on at all times, you can get caught slipping out here. How you doing? So, uh, you can't access the sidewalk right here. I think it's just, it's just understood that you can't ride through the sidewalk in some of these areas. No one's even trying to. It, suck if, it would suck if you had to walk right here, though. You have to walk on this busy street. This is Alameda. You come walking here at the, right, at the wrong time. Someone on their phone will take you out. They will just plow right through you like you didn't exist. Anywho, back on an open road. This is fun. These are places I've never been. So we're checking out a couple new areas today. This is a very industrial part. This looks like uh, they're pretty tight on what they're allowing to slide over here. And by that, I mean like literally nothing. There's one abandoned truck right there. I would assume someone's living in it, but hard to tell. A little bit more outskirts of life over here. Just people trying to survive. We see it every day we get out and ride. Just people just trying to trying to keep it moving. It's actually a little dirt route we're gonna hop on right here. I feel like a bunch of stuff in my tires, which is not good. But we're out here adventuring, baby. That's all there is to it. Okay, this goes both ways. I see a kitty cat. I hear whistles. There's also smoke in the air. There's like ash floating around. I hear whistling. I'm getting whistled at. If someone's whistling, to let me know. Or to let others know that I'm here. So let's go ahead and dip. For those who don't know, when you hear whistling, when you're riding anywhere in LA, be it South Central, uh, Compton, pretty much any neighborhood where you know, you kind of, you're getting involved in the scenery, so to speak. Once you start hearing whistles, that's like, uh, that's a sign that you are possibly getting taken. We're just uh, out here getting sketched. We got to get back across the street one way or another. Back on 20th, we're actually going to start doubling back. I think I got my hoodie on, hicksband.com. You want to stay warm like me out here in the streets when it gets breezy. Anyways, we're going to go this way. There's like a building being built up ahead. This is the active blue line, so I'm just checking to make sure we're good before we cross here. One of my biggest fears in life has always been getting hit by a train, which is like, that's the hardest thing to get hit by, right? It's a train, like there's, there's a thousand signals before it comes and hits you that it's coming. Most people would be like, you know, aware that a train is on route, but still one of my fears. That's why you always see me creeping very slowly whenever I'm crossing a railroad track. All right, southbound we go. We're right close to Washington, which is where we're gonna ultimately end up. We're just checking out some other weird streets that uh, I haven't ever really been down, ever. There's so much there's so much area in this part of town that I have just not checked out at all. I'm gonna hit this right. I'm going in the sun too, which is just not ideal at all. I just can't see where I'm going. <laughs> oh look, two dogs. Uh-oh. Dude, what the heck? They didn't even look straight. It looked like they were like, they knew exactly where they were, but they're just outside of the street by themselves. What's up with that? But if you notice, we're already back in the residential area, which is crazy, right? How close this is to all this like industrial stuff. Like, could it be good for your lungs to be breathing in whatever is coming out of these uh, these roads all the time? That's uh, that's my two cents, but you know, what do I know? I'm just an idiot YouTuber. We got another alley right here. Looks like you got a pet cat. 
Hello. <laughs> you still see a little pet kitty. Interesting. Oh, but we're dipping down an alley. I mean, we're just. <laughs> I don't even know how what brought us here, but you know, destiny. That's one way we can put it. Divine intervention. The universe wanted us to come down this alley, and now we are. And we're about to go down the next one too. When in doubt, alley it out. You know, that's what I always say. Let's go ahead and creep through. I'm just trying to avoid going this way for now because I cannot see where I'm going. We got some wet ground up here. Oh man, we just flew through so many bugs. That sucked. I actually know exactly where this alley goes and we're not gonna take it. It dead ends and it sends us into another direction that we don't wanna go. So we're gonna turn it around, go back this way. Holy crap. That was a close call. You know what I mean? It's starting to heat up. <laughs> what time was it? I swear it was early when I came out here. Dude, I'm not outdoor cycling. <laughs> Apple Watch always thinks I'm working out. 4.30, yeah. We're entering rush hour immediately, so. Let's go ahead and exit stage left from the city. Titling it out, that's right. That's where that alley would have ended us up at. We're up here on Central. Look at that cow. Moo. We got another alley we could tear down. We've been down that one before. We've been down actually most of the alleys right here, so we're just gonna try and, uh, oh, that's a nice looking apartment they're building right there. We're gonna double back to, uh, Washington and start getting up on oh god we got completely splashed right there not fun all right 21st street it is Let's see how far I gotta go gonna take a couple of these alleys on the way back why not we just came down this one the other day and it's still a little bit dirty overall not too bad got a couple of routes we could take this one looks a little wet but I think we can traverse it I know I usually don't complain about wetness because usually I'm out here wearing boots, but today I'm just wearing sneakers, so. Whoa, big dogs. I also got sweatpants, so I'm not really trying to get soaked. That would be uh, not fun, not in this stagnant water. Piles of stuff, a little bit of gang tagging right there. Funny hop of water. Let's keep going. We haven't really noticed much tagging today because we've been in very, you know, industrial areas. But now we're getting back into historic South Central. You're going to see a little bit more of that if you're paying attention. But for the most part, we're just mobbing through. I thought they were pulling up on me. I don't know. Hold on. Let me do a little. I don't like the way that he did that left. What is homeboy doing? Hey, call me paranoid, but when I see people driving weird ways around me, I pay attention. I'm going to go past this right here. See, is he pulling up? Nope, we're good. Hey, sometimes I just gotta watch from back, you know? Trust me, I see more than you guys can see on the GoPro. I'm very aware of what's going on. Look at these two six Chevys back to back. Dude, incredible. Man, yeah, someone's got some good taste right here. I wonder if this one's his too. Beautiful, love it. Anyways, let's go. How much to see in these parts? We got one more alley. Might be worth checking out. Let's do it. Back in civilization pretty much. We got downtown very close to us now. Truth be told, we uh we just dead ended ourselves. Huh. Good thing I'm not getting followed. At least if I am, I'll find out right now when I turn around. No, we're good. Well. And I just rode over a bunch of glass. That did not sound good. Ay, ay, ay. Luckily, we have gotten plenty of flats on the surround. We know dang well we can mob it out if we uh, get a full-on flat tire on this beast. Hey, I love your dog. Your outfit is cool, too. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Bro, she looks like a character out of a video game. That's incredible. How you doing? Did that game good for him bro <laughs> oh dude it's very like catching little fly on the wall moments like that that was a funny one all right well we scoot along back to where we begin 
We got downtown LA right there glowing at us. I don't think we'll be going over there today. I'm just uh, not feeling it. We're gonna stay on the outskirts until we make our way back. We slowly cruise along right here. We gotta slide through safely. And, uh, with the amount of traffic coming in, that doesn't look too easy. Excuse me. Hi. Thanks. We'll go ahead and pop around right here. I'm just dipping on the bike. You got a scooter in hand. Good for him. LA things, you know. <laughs> if you slow down and actually look at all the stuff I see on my rides, I see most of the things going on. But when you're watching on camera, like you gotta you gotta look around the edges of the frame, right, to see all the things that are happening at any given moment when I'm out here riding around. You'd be surprised how many things are happening at once, right? There's tons. We're really just chugging along right now. We're kind of trapped. It'd be really hard to get over to the other side of the street right here. So we're just scooting along down Washington, checking out the sights. It's a nice day. I'm glad I came out today. It's just a beautiful day uh, for a ride. Take a step outside right now. If you're in the house watching, you've been inside all day. It's a great opportunity to go outside, stretch your legs. If you can, you know, I know some of you guys are watching at work or whatever, but after you're done watching here, go outside, take a breather, you know? That's a homie hauler. Bro. <laughs> Relationship goals, me and who, right? Me and who. So I can barely ride myself on this thing, you know? All right, folks, that's gonna do it for today. Quick one, finishing off a strong January. I wanna thank you guys for all the support. Got plenty more bangers coming up all year, so stay tuned, subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. Thanksfan.com if you wanna support. Leave a comment if you feel like it. If not, it's all good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one very soon. Peace out.